Hey everyone, welcome back to Devirai Technologies. In this video, we'll continue from our last implementation. In our last video, we implemented Microsoft Bot Framework Web Chat Authentication for single tenant bots. In this video, we are going to implement for the multi tenant bots. So let's get started. First, we'll create our Azure bot service in a multi tenant bot type. I'll go to the same resource group that we created in our last video. I'll create a new bot service. This one I'll name this as bot. MT is stands for multi tenant auth bot dev. I'll choose the free plan and the bot type will be multi tenant and I'll create the app ID along with my bot service. Let's also go to bot framework samples and download the sample from there for the authentication. The reason being this is my new machine and it doesn't have the samples in it. So I'll have to re-download them. My Azure bot is provisioned successfully. And there we have the bot type app ID and we'll create the password as well. We'll follow exactly the same steps that we had for the single tenant, except and the only change is the bot type. For multi tenant bots, it will be easier for us to test in the emulator. So that we need to check if it is possible or not. Let's clone the repository. And I'll choose the location and let's clone it. Perfect. I'll not run it from here, so I'll just close this. Open the repository location from my file explorer. Get inside bot samples, samples, C sharp dot net core, and I'll pick up bot authentication sample. And I'll place it at some other place for me to work on. Okay. Perfect. I need to save my solution file. So the solution file was not part of this project so i'll have to save it the first time because i'm copying the solution project from the github repository okay what is the dot net version for this project let's check this dot net 8 perfect I'll open app settings.json and let's fill out the values and then we can take it from there. The bot type will be multi tenant. Let's enter the app ID and now the password.
for multi tenant boards app tenant id is not required so i'll leave that blank now let's configure the oauth settings before configuring oauth settings i'll have to create an app registration so let's first do that well that's not compulsory you can also do the same steps in your azure bot service app registration you don't have to create a separate app registration for this purpose okay so i'll go to app registrations new registration multi tenant auth i'll say app reg multi tenant auth bot dev and this time i'll choose multi tenant select the web and enter the redirect url this redirect url you can get it from bot framework authentication Just copy this URI and paste it there. Once that is done, go to API permissions and add the permissions. These are the same steps that we have already followed for single tenant bot it's just the similar steps we have it here okay again i'll not grant admin consent uh, but yeah some organization will need the apps to be granted the admin consent so make sure you do that uh, if those organization are really big and they do have some restrictions on the app registration so it requires the admin to grant the admin consent for the whole organization okay so that is all here let's come back to oauth settings so let's say oauth connection my service provider is azure active directory v2 let's get the client id If you are implementing this on the same app registration as that of Azure Bot, then the client ID will be the one for the Azure Bot service. So since we created a separate app registration, so I'll have the same client ID. Same is valid for app password. if you are using the existing azure bot app registration then the app password will be the same that of azure bot service okay so token exchange url will be blank and tenant id it has to be common because it's a multi-tenant bot so it must be common coming to scopes you need to enter the same permissions that you have initialized here so let's say email space open id space profile space user dot read let me double check email open id profile user dot read and save them Perfect. Let's test the connection to see everything is good. There we have the 
permission requested let's accept it copy the token the single tenant means only your organization can access the bot and they can log in to the bot multi tenant any number of organizations can access the bot so that's an advantage okay so if you are building a bot for multiple organizations then yes you need to go with multi tenant okay i copied the token and let's see what what is there inside the token so i'll go to the jwt.io this we have already done in our last video and there we have all the similar details that we saw yesterday okay everything is same well this seems to be fine our connection is working let's copy the connection name and paste it in our app settings.json all right so let's run this out and see if it works on emulator or not again i'll need to fix this yes all good let's end open the bot 3978 let me double check that's my endpoint 3978 okay now i'll be entering the app id this is my app id let's enter it here and also the app password well let's see if this will work or not let's check this perfect so this seems to be working fine as of now but we haven't tested login let's see sign in so it is opening this particular url confirm and it does nothing so it does nothing actually fail to generate actual sign in link error failed to connect to ngrock instance for oauth post pack url request to tunnels failed reason connection refused falling back to emulated oauth token okay let's uh, let's use this one as well hopefully something might change because uh, i remember i tested this uh, maybe few months back or i think a, a year back it was uh, having the same behavior like it will open up in the browser or even previously it was opened in the same dialog window in the emulator where it asked me to log in and then it showed me the token sorry the passcode six six digit passcode and i need to enter that in the chat window so that should be the current behavior but it seems that it's not that so let's see because here it is showing me this as the oauth url actually this should not be the oauth url previously it was uh, login.microsoft.com and some device code that was the oauth url but i guess that's not the case it shows me that you are logged in but no i'm not logged in because it is not able to show me the token okay so do this this is the issue currently let's see if we can try to fix that using ngrock let's open cmd and see what's the issue with my ngrock okay my oath, oath token is expired that's fine let's let's fix that i'll need to authenticate with my ngrock so i'll just do that I just authenticated with my ngrog 
let's rerun it let's see let's try to enter the ngrock url slash api slash messages and see if this will work or not i'll enter app id app password okay this is okay till now sign in ah there it is now oauth link is slightly different let's confirm that there you see i was telling that it will open a dialog box let's log in There you see, it is giving me the passcode. I'll copy that and paste it here. And now it says you are logged in. Would you like to view your token? Yes. And then it shows me the token. Perfect, right? So this is how you can connect it through NGROC and log in in the emulator. So this is successful. We don't have to now test in the web chat on the online. That also you can do if your emulator doesn't work. Uh, this we have tested in our last video for the single tenant where an emulator did not work even for ngrock URL. So we tested that in the Azure bot web chat. So this is the place where we tested it. Test in web chat okay for that you just need to enter your ngrock url here and it will work test in web chat perfect so that is all in this video and see you in the next one thanks everyone